Hey everybody, this is Eric with Heritage Ford, and today I'm going to be reviewing the 2021 Ford Mustang Mach E Premium. All right, so if you didn't know about the Mach E, there here's a few things about it. The Ford Mustang is an iconic Ford vehicle, been around for decades now. And now this is the all-electric version that Ford is building to compete with Tesla. Now, you'll notice some similarities between this and the Model Y, but a few things about electric vehicles I want to just really point out is the aerodynamics of it. That's the reason they don't have handlebars here right now. So to open the doors, what you have to do is push the button and pull this. Now let's take a look at the interior. On this one, we have a very, very nice interior. You're gonna notice we have the Bang & Olufsen premium sound system, and on these, the door is going to open like this. So you notice you have your sound bars right across the top. That's like a TV sound bar. It's like a modern way to do car audio, and I really like it. You have this carbon fiber looking strip right here, and I really like along with the stitched leather down here. And here's the nice little area to keep all your things. now. You have your Type C and USB charging right there, as well as a smart charger right here. Two cup holders, and then we'll, when we get to here, you'll notice the familiar rotary dial gear shift. You have your park hold button, which is electronic parking brake alerts, and you have a cool parking button. If we go to here, you can lift up the armrest and get a little bit more storage down here, along with a cool little spot to keep your key. You're also gonna get 12 volt charging in there. Let's close that up. Now let's take a look at these seats. They are very nice. This is a nice seat to have. Now these are heated and just look really great. I mean, look at that stitching in here. It's aerated and these are soft. I haven't felt a Ford with seats feel like this in a while you're gonna get 10-way power on that as well now looking up front you're gonna notice we have the sync 4 portrait style touchscreen right here now I will be doing a full video on this but I just want to show you a few details you're gonna keep a volume knob here and while we're here the sound system on this is really solid it has a very driver centric sound and you're gonna get the whole body of the sound coming through here and here, which I really enjoy. So the next thing you'll notice is you have a lot of drive modes. Now the, the Mach-E comes with a couple selections and these aren't the standard selections you're gonna be getting in other new Ford vehicles such as like trail mode, um, sport mode, and all kinds of other things. So you have engage, whisper, and unbridled. Now if you look at this, Engage is a balanced drive, fun and engaging. Next we have Whisper, seamless drive, calm and quiet. Then you have Unbridled. Now that's what I'm keeping it on here. An exhilarating drive, machine and road align as one. I love to hear that. And now it's just driving it on that mode and this thing can move. I'll be, sh I'll be posting a test drive here soon. Now let's look down a little bit. A unique thing about the Mach-E over some other electric vehicles is one pedal drive mode. What this says is it brings the vehicle to a stop and recovers energy when you release the accelerator pedal and the road grade is mild. You might need to use the brake pedal at any time. Now what this enables you to do is of course drive with one pedal. And it's actually really cool so it's like as you let off the gas pedal it simulates a brake, so um, it takes a little getting used to, but it's pretty cool mode if you just want to drive with one pedal, and it's something unique to this. Now, if we move down a little bit, you have your ambient lining, and then you get a propulsion sound. Now, this is something unique to this vehicle, and it's pretty nice to have. If you're getting that electric vehicle, you want that driving experience still, especially if you're into Mustangs, you're going to want that powerful sound you know you're used to getting from your vehicle and that's what this is for so basically if you put this on and you drive it then you're gonna have that sound coming out of here and all your speakers to emulate the driving experience let's look at a few more things this is really cool and I love how this looks on the portrait mode screen you have your 360 camera right here 
you can change this to certain different views and then get a little radar effect but I like the 360 camera and you can even zoom in a little bit to each side so whatever you need to use that for that's cool and this helps with your park assist a lot alright so this is great I mean this is long screen I mean it's it's pretty doggone big so that's a camera in front of you when you back up uh, you can have that do your backup camera and it's very very easy to control uh, just another great thing about it so let's get a there's checking a couple more things so you're gonna get your parking button here and now uh, this is going to have active park assist and park aid so there's that now if you go to settings you can um, toggle your your vehicle sound to anywhere in the car. This one's focused right here. I like to reset it just to get a full effect. But it, if you're if it's just you driving, you can kind of set this right here, and you get a good, nice, bounced effect being in the driver's seat. I would have this on surround because you should always have it on surround in a car. Tone settings. Turn the bass all the way up. Come on, it's a new car. So a couple more things, you can get Sirius XM built into this. Um, then you can monitor your charge here, which is another cool thing. And you can even schedule your charge, departure and comfort. But a unique thing here is personal profiles. Now you can, uh, if you share this car with somebody, you can actually um, have your own profile, put your uh, name in, you can add a photo, you can toggle your memory seats and link the key fob, link your phones. If you're sharing this car with someone, you can basically just sign into your profile and it's gonna adjust your seat, adjust, adjust your drive settings, and link to your Ford Pass Connect, which is in your phone, to be able to control the car. Now, a great thing about this car is that you can control it all with your phone through the port Ford Pass Connect app. So you can roll down all the windows, lock it, unlock it, remote start. And actually, that's a great thing to have because you can actually do this with any new Ford vehicle is completely control the vehicle from your phone just by downloading the Ford Pass Connect app and linking it into your vehicle. So that is something new but something different as well. Now let's take a look at the back seat. You'll notice there's no door handle here so you just click the button and then you have this little rubber stopper here to signify that this is the door handle. Now like the front you have your beautiful seats right here, and I really, really love these. These are some of the most comfortable seats I have felt in a new Ford. But what you're gonna wanna look at here is this huge pane of glass. Now this is one of the largest panes of glass ever put into a vehicle. Now I'll give you a look like that from the top. It's really seamless. Now you can see that this thing is huge, and it plays perfectly with the back of the vehicle to give it that seamless look. Now you've probably heard other YouTubers say this, but this black part is actually to give you more headroom on the top, but also to, it's a play on the eyes. So if you look right here, the vehicle looks as if it just ends right there. But, you know, against a different setting, it's like that. Now, let's take a look at these wheels. These are really nice, I, I enjoy these. What's that bird want? What are you doing? And then another familiar feature is that you'll have your um, My Key right here. So you can, if you don't have your phone on you, you can get into your vehicle like that. Now, let's step into the driver's seat. I just really enjoy how these look. As I was saying, this is how you open the door. So this is what you see from the driver's seat. Now, you, there's something cool you'll notice right here is that you can't even see these two lights here beeping in person, that's because they're infrared. And this is going to be used for self-driving later. It's going to monitor your eyes um, and whether you're awake and whether you're paying attention to the road. Now, the next thing you'll see is this is the instrument cluster right here. So you can see you have your range on the left, battery power left, direction, ground speed, or speedometer. Then you have your park, reverse, neutral drive, so on. And then you have something cool here. Now this is the new thing they've put into 2021 Fords is the speed limit assist. So you're driving and you're gonna come across a speed limit sign coming by 
and then that is going to display that right there and actually if you go to your um, driver assistance you can actually set a certain threshold inside that speed limit so it's going to see the speed limit then you can say oh, I want to go five over then you can set that and so that would be intelligent cruise control inside this new Mustang you also have adaptive cruise control inside here which you can basically just follow a car in front of you and then it will adapt to that and just a ton of cool drive modes inside this um, and driver assistance so let's take a look at the steering wheel great looking steering wheel now this thing drives quite well it's really fun to drive I'll, I'll set up the camera and do a little test drive for you in the next video but um, yeah overall just really great vehicle uh, you should come test drive this vehicle. I can make this video all I want. You know, I can show you everything that's in it, but I really, the most important thing is that you come in and test drive this. We have this vehicle for about six more months as of March 2021, so you could come to us, Heritage Ford in Corridan, Indiana, and drive this car. Trust me, it sells itself. You can watch all the videos you want, but it doesn't match the feeling that you get when you hit the gas on this thing or hit the electricity on this thing. It's a truly different experience to driving, and uh, I think it's one we all better get used to. So this is Eric with Heritage Ford. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.